Hi, and welcome to another edition of Strategic Business Insights. Today we're going to talk about green screen videos and how you can make them too. So this is obviously a green screen video. When I'm actually recording this, behind me there's nothing but green. And I've put this image of a green screen video background right behind me. So to give you an illustration of that, right now I'm holding a red card. So you can see the red card, okay? But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a green card and you're gonna see that it makes me transparent to what's behind me. See that? Right, as I move this around, here it is on top of my face. Right, so you can see right through me to whatever is behind me because this is a green card. Right, you can see right through it, but because it's green, it's made transparent by the software. So here is the two side by side, the red and the green, okay? And you can see now the red card is in front of the green, and now the red card is going to go behind the green, and you can see how that becomes transparent. It's called keying out the green. And it doesn't have to be green. You can do it with blue, you can do it with any color you like, but green is a good color that you can uh, use to create green screen videos. Okay, now let's talk about the costs. I paid about $20 for the green, it's literally a cloth, it's literally a green cloth that I have tacked to my wall. Okay, that cost me about $20. I bought it on Amazon. I bought almost everything I need on Amazon. Meanwhile, I'm talking to a camera, right? And the camera is on a tripod. Okay, you can't see that because it's right below the camera, okay? The tripod was like $25. The camera that I'm using was about $240. It's a Canon camera, okay? Now, one of the important things with doing videos is that you want to have a jack at the back of the camera so that you can plug in an external microphone. You see this microphone right here? I have a little lavalier microphone. Listen to this popping sound. Right? So this is right on, this is plugged into the camera, and one of the biggest complaints in, in videos on YouTube is sound quality. So you want to get a camera that has a jack at the back of it so you can plug in an external microphone. Okay? Now, I have two lighting stands, okay, and they're big umbrellas with white light. Okay, again, you can't see them because they're up here. One's right there and one's right up here. Okay. Uh, those together, I bought those on Amazon, I paid about $120 for that set, right? It's not a lot of money. Now, today, they're even cheaper. You can get these same lighting stands for $70. So the prices of these things are coming down, okay? I also have a light that's right here. See how you can see the shadow across my face? That's because I have a light that's right here, so it gives my face a little bit of extra light. Otherwise, you would just see light on the outside of me, and you would see a shadow in the middle. So I have another light here. I bought it at Home Depot. It cost me $18, okay? And again, the camera that I'm using cost me about $240. Now, what kind of software am I using? Um, I'm using an open source software. What does that mean? Open source means it's free. It doesn't cost any money. The software that I use to create these videos is called Caden Live. Caden uh, Live is an open source software. Now the downside is Caden Live requires it, it has to run on a Linux machine. So I actually have a separate laptop, it's an old laptop, where I installed Linux and then I installed Caden Live. But Linux is free and so is Caden Live. So I can process my videos on my second laptop while I'm working on my primary laptop. And that actually works really well because it takes a huge amount of bandwidth. If I tried to create the video, sometimes it takes two, three hours to render one of these videos, okay? Now, the longer ones. So it's nice for me to have a separate machine because it would be really hard to do regular work while the machine's working so hard to render the videos. But the bottom line is, this is not a whole lot of money. If you add it all up, $240, $120, which is now 70, right? So it's 310 uh, plus $20, 330 plus 25, that's 355. Uh, what am I forgetting? The green screen is another $20, $375. We're under $400 to create a green screen video. And one of the beauties of a green screen video is that th this video is essentially just a talking head video. It's just me talking, right? There's no real action going on. But because I can do different backgrounds and I can select a background that's appropriate given the topic that I'm talking about, I can do these videos and it's 
it provides some variety and the thumbnails of the video look a lot more interesting because the background matches whatever the topic is. So I encourage you, give green screen videos a try. Don't worry if you're not so good at it at the beginning, you'll get better. Uh, and after a while, you're gonna find your voice, you're gonna get comfortable in front of a, a video camera yourself, you can start, I'm telling you, everything is going towards video. You wanna be on video, right? If you're a self-employed, if you're in business, video is where it's at. So start getting used to it, get the equipment you need, and start practicing, and you can make green screen videos yourself. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. This is Patrick once again reminding you to think bigger about your business. Think bigger about your life.